because there can't be any reason to be dissatisfied with the batsman who put uh, after tonight. How much, how much of a confidence booster is that going into the remaining remainder of the tournament? Yeah, I think um, obviously it was a pretty, uh, in the end, a pretty comfortable chase. Um, as Tommy said, the wicket, the conditions were obviously pretty good for batting, and I, I think we felt that in the first innings as well. Um, and, and I was very, very happy walking off a half time chasing 150. So, in saying that, we have talked about those run chases not going so well. So, hopefully, that's uh, we've put that to bed now, um, and we've uh, done this one pretty comfortably. So, hopefully, that's a blueprint for where we can go from here. Yeah, I think it's going to be different, uh, definitely. I think conditions will um, change a little bit. There was a bit of dew out there. Um, I think the ball came on to the bat pretty well. Uh, having a look earlier in the earlier match, um, particularly in the afternoon, I think perhaps the ball held up a little bit more during the day. Um, and saying that, it was obviously very good for batting on earlier as well. It's a fantastic game of cricket, Zimbabwe Island. So um, we're both batting teams uh, prospered. So I'm sure it will be... Pretty similar, if, if maybe a little bit more hard work with the ball not coming on quite as much during the day, perhaps. Um, it's obviously going to be a, a tough game against a team that we haven't played very often. Uh, and having seen them play a warm-up game now and, and this first match, uh, we can see that they've, you know, they've got a varied attack and they've got a, varied, uh, they've got a lot of variation in their attack, sorry, and they've got a very uh, uh, dangerous batting lineup. Uh, and I think... You know, they'll be disappointed about today and I'm sure that they'll come come hard on us uh, in a couple of days' time. Dealing with it's not really a problem. I think we, we're all representing Holland and um, you're right, there's guys from a lot of different backgrounds, uh, but most, uh, nearly every, every one of the guys have either lived in Holland or, or do live in Holland or have lived there for a long time or play club cricket in Holland. Um, so although Tommy, for example, may have flown in yesterday, he, uh, he's also played three or four years of club cricket in Holland. So it's not, uh, everyone knows each other pretty well. It's not, we have no problem with the diversity. We enjoy having a few different people from different places and a little bit different cultures as well. Uh, everyone has as uh, you know, we give each other a bit of a hard time, but mostly in, in, in good in good humour. Um, we haven't hasn't played since two thousand eleven, so uh, I guess we're pretty used to that. Uh, obviously, yeah, obviously he's a fantastic cricketer, and if he, if he, we'd we'd love to have him here because he he wins game of, games of cricket and uh, and but in saying that, we're used to it. We're we're very used to it. We played three, four years now, very, you know, a lot of cricket in the last three or four years uh, without Ryan, so, um, you know, hopefully one day he's keen, but if he's not, then uh, we're, we're pretty used to it. Um, I don't think it was ever an issue of whether or not Tom was going to... Um, Vindicate his, vindicate his selection through his talent because uh, obviously Tom's a fantastic all-round cricketer. Um, but, you know, uh, it was it's an unfortunate thing to have happened to Tim uh, and I'm sure he's very disappointed about it. Um, at the same time, uh, uh, we're not, I'm, well, I'm not really in a position to talk about that decision or uh, uh, right now because we've got, we're right in the middle of you know, this week is a pretty big week of cricket and, and those things that have happened or have, may have happened in the last few days. Uh, Tim's disappointment with his, with his injury. Um, uh, in, in, in some way, it, it was a distraction today, so I'm very glad that, uh, that the team was able to sort of go out there, put that to one side. And uh, I know everyone was very excited about what happened out here tonight, very excited about getting out there. And... Uh, I don't think it was a distraction we needed necessarily today, but uh, I'm very proud of the guys for coming up, overcoming that distraction. Oh, look, it hasn't been a huge... It, <laughs> it really hasn't been a huge uh, talking point within the squad. Uh, the boys are, were pretty 
keen on um, just getting out here and enjoying the day. Um, obviously feeling for Tim. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's not really my position to talk about that, to be honest. So we want to come and play some good cricket, and that's what I've been focused on personally. So, um, as for galvanising the squad, perhaps, I don't know. Um, uh, for me, I didn't change my focus too much, so maybe... Maybe have to ask some of the other boys. I'm not sure. His timing, uh, well, I don't, yeah, I wouldn't want to answer too many questions about it. I don't think it was ideal timing. Um, saying, in saying that, Tim's, uh, he's an adult and uh, he's allowed to express his opinion, I suppose. Um, but as I say, I don't feel like it had a major effect on this team today. Uh, boys played really well. Uh, we're looking forward to the next match, and uh, and I guess that's sort of where the squad's at at the moment.